Welcome back to the channel next racing fans so today we're gonna go ahead and go over the IGN1A coils and how exactly did I wire them uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on how exactly I wired them which wires go to where where did I put the ground where did I get the power from where I get the uh, signal wires from so I'm gonna be going over all of that in this video just to give you guys a little idea exactly how I did it now Everybody does it differently. There's certain wires that everybody's gonna be doing it the exact same way on certain wires But in terms of ground wires uh, People are gonna be doing it different ways in terms of how I connected the power and signal wires uh, Maybe different from somebody else, but we'll go ahead and go over how I did it and um, we'll go from there So let's go ahead and get this turned around so you guys see exactly what I'm talking about all right, so as you can see here, I've got the coils mounted to the bracket that's mounted to the valve cover that's on the head. Um, I took uh, coil one and two off the plugs so I can give you guys an idea of what exactly I did. So over here, we have the wiring harness, the complete wiring harness for the vehicle. I'm just going to control everything for, in the motor. Uh, this obviously is a Hall Tech. If you guys have been following the channel, you guys know this is a Hall Tech harness. So from here, we have the, um, it's called a leading ignition harness, which just means it has a whole bunch of wires that you can do whatever you want with them. Um, but obviously they go in their perspective spots. So here, this is gonna be the main uh, ground wire that comes from the ECU. This plug here, which it wasn't a plug, I actually put it into a plug form, is actually the 12 volt ignition power. And then these four wires that are coming off the side of it are the signal wire. So this lets the, um, the ECU sends a signal let know each ignition, I'm sorry, each coil to fire. All right, so these are also gonna be put into a plug. Um, this plug is in the mail right now, so I'm just waiting for it to come in. This ground wire here also is going to be put into a plug. Um, it's going to be split into four wires, and then that four wire is going to go into a plug to another plug that's going to connect to the coils themselves. So exactly how I did it. So this is how we're going to go with so we have the plug that goes into the IGN1A coils. That being said, uh, they're labeled A, B, C, and D, and E. So A is gonna be your ECU ignition output. So A is gonna be the yellow wire that comes from the ECU that sends a signal to let that particular coil to spark or fire. So we have that set here. I have them all labeled. Um, I called Haltech. I called a couple local race shops. I talked to a couple racers um, on how they connected them, what, what size uh, wiring they use, uh, what, where they connected them to, how they did it. So I went off of everybody's took everybody's perspective on how they did it, took the most common ones, and then did my little bit of my twist on it. So that being said, um, I do have a new roll of here of yellow wire because the wire I used on here is 20 gauge, but I'm gonna drop it to 16 gauge, be a little bit thicker, that way we have a little bit more consistency in terms of the electrical current that goes through it. Um, this 20 gauge for me, I feel like it's a little bit too small to a little bit too rinky dink. So I am gonna take it off and change it out with a 16 gauge. That being said, the rest of the wires I have on here are also gonna be um, 16 gauge as well. So all the grounds, the ignition power, and then I'm gonna change the signal wire to also 16 gauge. 
are all going to be 16 gauge wire that was recommended to me from Haltech themselves they said if you can run 16 gauge run 16 gauge if you don't want to run 16 gauge run 18 gauge so I'm gonna run 16 gauge just to be on a little bit on the safer side once um, I'm waiting on the connectors to come in to change these out once I do I'll go ahead and get them changed out that being said then we have slot B which is ground reference to ground um, like I said I spoke to a lot of people in regards to ground everybody has their own opinion on where ground needs to be where to connect the ground um, a lot of people say connect all the ground to the head um, or connect all the ground to where your start point grounding would be in terms of where you're grounding all your grounds to uh, after speaking to a couple racers and speaking to Hall Tech and everybody, I decided to do is slot B, which is going to be the second slot after the signal uh, wire. I actually use that ground to connect to the ground to the ECU. So this line here that comes from the ECU that I'm going to be splitting into four, um, four ground wires will connect to the each of the ground wires from the coils in slot B of each of the um, connectors. So this slot B here will connect to this ground from the ECU. So will each of the rest of the uh, B wires on the connectors on each of the rest of the coils. So coil one through four, each of the B slots will connect to this one ground. Obviously this ground here is gonna be connected to the main ground where the ECU is gonna be grounded to which in terms of my vehicle is going to be the head. So either way, this ground is coming from the head. So, but I want to use the ground wire, so I'm going to use it and connect all slot B. Now in terms of slot C and D, which are also ground wires, I'm going to show you guys here, so you guys can see it a little bit. So slot A is this ignition output, B is ground, C is ground to cylinder head, D is ground to battery, and E is power. Now that being said, ground, uh, ground C to cylinder head and ground D to battery, those two wires are actually going to be grounded to the cylinder head. So I'm not sure if you guys can see here, but I have a spot right here where this bolt is attached to. I'm gonna get a smaller bolt that actually fits on here, but this is just gonna do for now. And give you guys a little look at it. This is where all of them are gonna be grounded to. So I have two connectors here. Two of the coils are gonna be connected to one, and the other two coils are gonna be connected to the other one. And then this is also where the main ground from the battery is going to come from as well and all the grounding is going to come from here so like I mentioned before the ECU has to be grounded well it's going to be grounded here as well so that third wire that's grounded to the ECU is technically still grounded to the head it's just going through the ECU though so either way they're all going to be grounded through the head so if you want some people stay on the safe side and what they'll do is they'll just ground everything to the head and be done with it um, i wanted to use this leading wire ground that comes from the ecu so i'm just going to connect it to slot b on all of them and then the rest of the ground will be grounded to the head um, well so what i did was is i took Um, the first two coils, I took their ground wires, so I took two, these two from the first one, these two from the second one, and then I kind of went and then I connected them, I didn't connect them together, I just put them onto the same wire loom and then they'll come out here. So you got one, two, three, four wires. So these four wires, so you have two from this plug and two from this plug, these four wires will be connected right here to this part of the head and then the final wire which is the power wire the 12 volt power wire which are these two red wires here obviously the other two from the other coils are there 
those are actually going to be connected to this plug here which is the ignition 12 volt power i have it labeled there let's see if you can see it a little bit better there so what i did was is i bought this plug the which is capable of handling up to 30 amps of power through it at any one time through each each pin um, so what I did was I connected this plug and then I had the other side of the plug over here and what I'll do is I'll connect these sides of all of the coils to the plug and then it'll just plug in here and now they got power so a lot of people what they'll do is they'll do a um, they'll do a, a, a butt joint on there or they'll just peel it off and then just connect it tied up put some uh, electrical tape on it and leave it at that I want to make it look a little bit better than that make it look somewhat you know decent or professional looking so what I did was I got this plug keep it handing up to 30 amps and we'll see what happens I, I believe this would be a lifesaver in terms of hey I need to take these off I need to look at them I need to do something I can unplug it from here obviously you can unplug it from the coils as well but if you want to check the wiring or check what's going on you could do it from that too so in all just to give you guys an overview of what's going on all these wires are going to be 16 gauge wire obviously the yellow wire is the ECU signal wires which come from the ECU harness that's going to be slot A. Slot B is ground to the ECU. So the ECU ground is going to be slot B, which will connect to this part of the ECU harness, which is the main ground that comes out of the ECU to the ignition. Now slot C and D will be ground to the cylinder head, which obviously B will also be to the cylinder head, but it will be grounded from the ECU to the cylinder head, go through the ECU wiring, and then come out to the ignition coils as well. So these slot C and D is ground to the cylinder head, and then slot E, which is power, will go to the power plug that I have uh, connected here or made myself to the wiring harness. And so what I did was, is I actually did uh, splice the wire into four wires. It did come out um, of the wire harness as only one wire, like the ground is, as one wire. And I did splice it and turn it into four wires. So I did a butt joint on it, um, splice it into four wires, and then put this connector on there that's capable of holding up to 30 amps, which I think would be sufficient enough in terms of the type of amps they will be drawing for each ignition oil um, I like I mentioned before I need to change this yellow wire because this is actually a 20 gauge I'm going to do 16 um, I need to change it out so I'm waiting on the pins to come in and then once I change it out I'll go ahead and get this whole harness finished up um, it's mainly done I'm waiting on two connectors to come in um, and the pins for, we gotta put new pins on here. Once those come in, we're all set. I'll go ahead and get it finished up, get them all wrapped up in the um, uh, fiberglass sleeving that I bought here, and we'll go from there. Um, a lot of people are gonna ask what kind of wire you're using, uh, and so what I'm using is a mil spec wiring. Um, product code for the yellow one itself is going to be M22759-32 16 gauge-4-50 16 gauge yellow 50 feet so I'll give you guys a little bit of closer look now mil spec wiring is actually MoTeC so MoTeC ECUs um, and that's the reason why I bought the wiring from them. So, I mean, if you make ECUs and you make harnesses on a daily basis for race cars, then I'm going to go with the wiring that you make. So, 
If you're looking for any type of wiring, wiring harness, connectors, um, I recommend millspecwiring.com. Go ahead and go over to their website. Um, they'll include a, as you can see here, is like a lanyard. And as you can see, it says Motec. So they are Motec. So Millspec Wiring is Motec. So if you need some wiring, go ahead and hit them up. If you have any questions or concerns, call them up. They'll go ahead and be more than welcome to help you guys out. Um, this is not sponsored by them, but I've always used their wiring for any project that I've had. I've never been let down. So we'll go from there. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel as it gets you entered to win a $50 gift card to Harbor Freight Advanced Pet Boys AutoZone or $50 in PayPal cash. All right, so I appreciate you guys watching the video. Remember, stay tuned. We're next. Next race. <laughs>